AABIP Video Educational Series, Illumicite, Planning. Planning the procedure. The procedure may be planned on the planning laptop or the Illumicite tower. The DICOM images either need to be loaded onto the planning laptop tower by using a burn CD or by transferring images from your institution's packs to the laptop tower. Check with local IT security for permissions. In this example, a planning laptop is used. The plan will need to be transferred to a USB drive and then loaded onto the tower. When the plan is loaded, the patient's name will appear here. If using a CD, select the CD icon to see your patient's images. Then select your patient. To create a plan, first select the blue info hyperlink. A list of CT parameters will be displayed. Inspect the parameters to ensure they are within normal limits. Thickness should be 1.25 millimeters, slice interval of one, no image gaps should be present. Overlap of slices should be between 20 and 50 percent. Kernel or focusing effect should be standard. An image number should be between 50 and 913. CT resolution should be squared rather than two different numbers such as 512 and 700. Select the Create New Plan option. The planning module will load. You will then inspect the 3D virtual tracheobronchial tree. You can rotate the tree as shown. You will notice that a segment of the right upper lobe is missing on this virtual reconstruction. You can either decline or accept the 3D map. To accept, select the green button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. The target nodule will now be marked. Scroll through the images until the nodule comes into view. Select the nodule and place the crosshairs on the nodule. Then select Add Peripheral Target. Now refine the target location. You can change the name of your target if needed, delete the target, and start over, undo changes, or accept the target location. You are now in the Airway Finder view. Scroll through the images until an airway is identified that is adjacent to or close to the airway. You may also use the four view option to see multiplanar views to plan the pathway. Place the cursor in the airway. Once the cursor is placed on a virtual pathway, the pathway will be automatically created. In this example, because the posterior segment was absent on the 3D reconstruction, the pathway was not automatically created until more central airways were identified. Once the pathway is created, review the pathway. In this screen, you can add another target or pathway, edit target details, or delete the current target. Next, select the gray tab plan registration. This step of manual registration is not necessary as registration is achieved automatically. This is done in case there is a failure in registration or there are special circumstances that require manual registration. This hyperlink, More Registration Planning Tips, provides information on atypical anatomy, such as lobectomy, right pneumonectomy, or left pneumonectomy. The following points are marked in manual registration. Main carina, RC1, RC2, in an easily visible lower lobe crina. LC2 is marked. 
and an easily visible left lower lobe crina. The plan is then reviewed. Navigation is planned, automatic registration is available, and manual registration is complete. Select Export Plan to transfer the plan to a USB drive.